Hello students, welcome back to Prakash CBSE. Today we will see exercise 4.2 Roman number 3. So last video I uploaded Roman number 1. So Roman number 2 it's a situational problem means the word problem. So that topic is deleted. So let's see now question number 3 and 4. Of course the question number 3 and 4 also word problem but it is not the situational problem. These are number problems only. So let's see these two questions also. So let's get into the question. So here we have find two numbers whose sum is 27. So two numbers we have to find out whose sum. Sum means addition. Means the addition of two numbers is 27. And multiplication. Product means multiplication. So product of the two numbers is 182. Then what are the numbers? So let's take one number as in one variable. Let us take... 1 number as x. If you take one number as a x, then other number will be then other number will be 27 minus x. You know why? Because we are taking 27 minus x. Suppose if you know one number, that one number if you subtract from the total, you will get the other number. That's why we are taking the other number as 27 minus x okay now so these are the two numbers now let's take now it's given that sum we have taken if you take sum again you will get 27 only because plus and minus gets cancelled let's take the product here given product of numbers equal to 180 so let's take the numbers here. Product means we know multiplication. So product of two numbers. Answer is given 182. Let's multiply this x inside. Then you will get 27x minus x square equal to 182. So take everything opposite. Then you will get x square minus 27x plus 182 equal to 0. So you got one quadratic equation now. Let's find out the factors using splitting the middle term. Okay. Let's take here 182. Let's use the diamond rule. So the possible factors for this 13 and 14. The coefficient of x value here we have minus 27. So put both place minus and minus. So when you multiply this to minus into minus plus 13 into 14 182. So when you add your will get minus 27 since you know in the first video i explained how to find out the roots okay then can, can write minus 13x minus 14x plus 182 equal to 0 from this we can take x common outside x minus 13 and here if you take 14 outside so x minus 13 equal to 0 now take x minus 13 common outside from this okay if you take here we have x minus here remaining we have 14 equal to 0 so apply each factor equal to 0 then you will get x minus 13 equal to 0 one more x minus 14 equal to 0 so x equal to 13 and your x equal to 14 so you're, you're getting x values two possible things so your x is the one number you have to find out the other number so your two cases are rising let's take case one if x equal to 13 then what is the other number here so other number other number we have taken as 27 minus x so 27 minus x value 13 if you subtract you will get 14 is the other number suppose the first number is 14 so sorry this is case 1 let's take your case 2 because we are getting one x value as a two numbers so that other number now 27 minus 14 is equal to 13 so therefore the numbers are 13 comma 14 see 13 comma 14 add these two numbers you'll get 27 multiply these two you'll get 182 so these are the two numbers 13 and 14 so let's get into the next question so 
where we have fourth question find two consecutive positive integers consecutive is nothing but the continuous positive integers two continuous positive integers whose sum of the squares is 365 so consecutive positive integers means we have a formula means it's not a formula we'll take as a formula consecutive positive integers so consecutive positive integers let's consider as a formula only so x x comma x plus one first integer will take us a x second integer x plus one third integer x plus two it will be going on like this find two only they are saying so let's take this two okay so it's given now in the question sum of whose squares it's given sum of whose squares okay squares is how much 365 sum means addition so take this addition now x plus x plus 1 whole square okay sum and square both they are giving sum means addition square means you're taking the square is answer how much 365 now simplify this x square this is in the a plus b whole square formula simplify a square plus 2ab 2 into a into b plus b square equal to 365 so x square x square will get 2x square plus 2x plus 1 equal to 365 just take opposite so 2x square plus 2x plus 1 minus 365 equal to 0 so 2x square plus 2x minus 364 equal to 0 because when you subtract this now take 2 as a common outside here so x square plus x minus 364 how many times second table 182 times okay equal to 0 multiplication to opposite when you take division so 0 by 2 will get 0 so remaining will be x square plus x is 182 equal to 0 by multiplication to opposite division so 0 by 2 you know you will get 0 so remaining you have x square plus x minus 182 equal to 0 let's factorize this minus 182 and here we have plus 1 coefficient of x value right so 13 and 14 only will get play your minus so that 14 minus 13 here addition will get multiplication okay now x square plus 14x minus 13x minus 182 equal to 0 so from this two you take x common outside x plus 14 and here if you take uh, minus 13 outside remaining you will have x plus 14 equal to 0 Make sure that the first bracket and second bracket should be same. If not, you made a mistake. So you can redo it. Now take x plus 14 as a common outside. If you take your remaining, you have x. Your remaining, you have minus 13 equal to 0. Therefore, apply each factor equal to 0. So x plus 14 equal to 0. One more, x minus 13 equal to 0. So here you will get x value minus 14 and here you will get x value plus 13. Let's simplify here. So you got x plus 14 equal to 0 and one more you got x minus 13 equal to 0. So here you will get x equal to minus 14. Here you will get x equal to plus 13. In the question it is given that positive integer. So this is negative just reject rejected because it's a negative because in the question it's mentioned that only the positive integers so x value 13 then what are the positive integers therefore consecutive positive integers we have taken as x comma x plus 1 so x value we have here 13 one more 13 plus 1 so 13 comma 14 are the positive integers hope that you understand if any doubt please put it in the comment section thank you so much for watching